All right, Leah said that you can find the volume of a right rectangular prism. All that means is we have um, a rectangular prism like a shoebox. Okay, I am not an artist. Please do not judge me. Okay, we have a rectangular prism like a shoebox in its right angles, so meaning they're all 90 degrees. That's what a rectangular prism is going to be. But she says you can find the volume of that by packing it with unit cubes. Those are little cubes, okay? They're one by one, um, like we did in the problems before from yesterday. Melanie said that you can find volume of a right rectangular prism by multiplying the edge lengths. So those are your three lengths, length times width times height, who is correct. So volume, we know, if we look at the hint, is length times width times height and you can count the unit cubes to give you the same answer as multiplying the edge so that means both of these ladies are correct in their thinking george said that you can find the volume of a right rectangular prism by packing it with unit cubes and stewart said that you can find the volume of a right rectangular prism by multiplying edge lengths again you're packing it with unit cubes it will work it's a great way to figure out the volume of something, and you can still figure out the volume by measuring those lengths and multiplying them. They're both correct. All right, find the volume of a right rectangular prism. Remember, a right rectangular prism is just like a shoebox with the following measurements by multiplying the edge length. So they give you length, width, height. This is what you did yesterday. So remember, volume, capital V, is equal to length times width times height. Okay, so length would be nine and a half times your width, which is one, and times your height, which is two and a half. Use your calculators, my friends. It will be much easier for you. When you do this, you will get twenty three point seven five. Now we have um we don't they don't give us the um Measurement until you look at the answers. So it's going to be inches. And then remember, it's cubed because we have three different things we're multiplying here. So we're going to cube these things. A little itty bitty exponent of three is cubed. Now, the answers are written in uh, fraction form, but we can already go ahead and eliminate all of them and find the one with 23. And you're going to hit submit, and it's going to be correct. All right. Gabrielle found the volume of the prison below to be two cubic inches by filling it with unit cubes. So multiply the side lengths to see if she was correct. So she said that she had two cubic inches with filling with unit cubes. Whereas here, we're going to try to multiply and see if that's correct. So we're going to do length, which is one, times width, which is two, and height, which is one half. So you're going to multiply those. Use your phone, friends, or your calculator. Your computer calculator is just going to be a lot easier. 2 times 0. 0.5, which is 1. So we get 1 cubic inch. So that is not the same as 2 cubic inches. So no, she was not correct. All right, Vincent found this volume to be 1 and 1 ninth cubic inches by filling it with unit cubes. You're going to see the lengths of the side if he was correct. I would take 1 and 1 ninth and solve it as a decimal, okay? So I'm just gonna put that in my calculator and I get 1.111 and the one keeps repeating, okay? So now I'm gonna take length times width times height and I'm gonna multiply those. And I get 1.782. Those are not the same. So no, he was not correct. All right. Chloe packed the rectangular prism with 216 unit cubes, meaning 216 one by one cubes. If Olivia multiplied the edge lengths of the same prism to find the volume, what should her answer, answer be in cubic units? 
All right, so I had to take a pause for a second. Um, back here again. So if Olivia multiplied the edge lengths of the same prism to find the volume, what should her answer be in cubic units? So all you have to do is just type it out. I believe it's just 216. It's trying to be a trick question for you. So the reason that, that was a trick question before I move on to this problem is because um, they tried to say 216 unit cubes. That's the same thing as cubic units. So they're just making it tricky for you. Ethan packed a right rectangular prism with three unit cubes. If Eric multiplied the edges of the lengths of the same prism to find the volume, what should his answer in cubic units be? This is another trick question, guys. Unit cubes, okay, and cubic units are the same thing. This is just how you measure it, and this is how we would label it. So the answer is three. Um, Kayla found the volume of the prism below to be nine and a half cubic inches by filling it with unit cubes. You're going to multiply the lengths of the sides to see if she was correct. So I've done a couple of these for you. So just remember the formula, capital V equals length times width times height. Okay. All right. This should be a good Friday lesson for you. Um, shouldn't be too difficult. Um, lots of the same problems over and over. Just remember to watch the wording. Um, and you guys will do just fine if you're paying attention to that wording. And remember that volume is length times width times height. And you can also find volume by taking the box or whatever you have and filling it with unit cubes. So a one by one cube. Um, that's how this works. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm sure you guys will do great.